Katrina, is this a good time? Hey, big brother. It's okay. I just got home from work. You're busy as ever. Well, yeah. But I like my job. I never get tired of working. I see. I wanted to confirm something about my wedding. You will attend as planned, right? Of course! Will you be able to work around it? I'll be fine. It's my brother's big day! I'll be there no matter what! Great! I'll send you a plane ticket, Hawaii! You'll send me a plane ticket, Hawaii? Yeah. Sabrina and I decided that we'll arrange the tickets for our families. We talked it over and that's what we decided to do. I see. That's great. Well, I've always traveled by car. I don't know much about airplanes. I leave it all to her. You've never been out of the state, have you? That's right. This trip to Hawaii will be my first outside of Oregon trip. Oh, that's right. I'm sure you like Hawaii. You love Hawaii, right? I'm looking forward to it, too. I'll be in touch then. Okay. Good evening, Katrina. We've never texted before, have we? Is this a good time? Good evening, Sabrina. What's up? There's something I didn't get a chance to ask you about when we met the other day. I thought I'd check with you directly. What? What is it? I heard from Harry. He said you only graduated from high school. Yes, that's right, I did. Ah, I thought he was joking, but it turns out to be true. Um, is there a problem? I'll make it clear before Harry and I get married. Everyone in my family is highly educated. Okay, so? I went to a well-known private university. My parents and grandparents all graduate from top universities. And they all work for big companies. I see. Oh, you're not responding very well. Why don't you react more honestly? Like, that's great! Or, I'm jealous! Oh, yes. That's great. Oh, this sucks. That's why you undereducate people. Huh? Well, okay. Your brother Harry also graduated from a prestigious national university. Yes, he did. Katrina, do you understand what I'm trying to say? I'm sorry. I don't understand. Huh, I guess people with low academic backgrounds aren't good at reading between the lines. Um, is there a problem? Harry often praises you as an excellent sister. I have no idea what's so excellent about you. You're only high school graduate and on the losing side of life. I don't consider myself a loser. Okay, okay. Maybe it's because you live in a small world. You don't even know you're low class. What the? Well, that's enough for today. See you later. Katrina, I heard from Dad. He said you didn't get the ticket to Hawaii, so you had to get them yourself. Oh, Harry. He said you booked the hotel by yourself, too. Actually, that's what happened. Sorry. 
When I checked with Sabrina, she said she thought you weren't gonna come. She said she didn't book the flight and the hotel for you, so I was surprised. I thought I told Sabrina that you were gonna attend the wedding. It was my fault for leaving everything up to her. I'm really sorry. Don't worry. I got the hotel and the plane without a problem. I'm glad you made it in time. I really can't believe this. I don't know what I would do if you weren't there. I don't know what Sabrina misunderstood. I'm sure she was busy preparing for the wedding. I wish I'd known sooner, but I've been so busy with work that I forgot all about it. You're gonna be on a different plane from mom and dad, right? Yes. I'll take a later flight. Will you be able to make it in time for the wedding? Well, it's gonna be tight. It's gonna be a little tough, but I'm used to getting around town, so I'll be fine. I see. You've been to Hawaii a lot for work. But I'll pay for all the expenses, so make sure to tell me exactly how much it cost. No, no, no. I can pay for it myself. That's not gonna happen. I'm supposed to make arrangement for my family. Then I guess I'll take you up on that. I'll bill you later. I'm really sorry. I invited you and now you have to deal with this. It's okay, it's okay. It happens. It's just... Hmm? I'm a little worried about something. What's wrong? Is it really okay if I go to the wedding? Huh? Why? It's probably just a coincidence that she forgot to arrange flights and hotels. She doesn't seem to think very highly of me. That's not true. Sabrina was happy to have a pretty little sister, you know. I'm sure she's looking forward to seeing you at the wedding this time, too. I hope so. Did Sabrina say something to you by any chance? Sort of. She seems to be stuck on the fact that I only graduate from high school. Just because you only graduated from high school doesn't mean it's a problem. Perhaps you care too much about it. Sabrina never talked about your educational background. Oh, really? Then I won't worry too much about it. Good. Well then, I'll see you on the wedding day. I'll see you there. I'm looking forward to it. Hey, Katrina. I just glanced at the reception desk and saw you there. Sabrina. I'm so glad I made it in time for the ceremony. I flew separately from my parents. It looks like I got here before them. Why are you coming to our wedding, Katrina? Excuse me? I don't know how to reply to that. I came because my brother invited me. I'm telling you there's no seat for you, okay? Huh? What do you mean? As a family, I'm supposed to be at my brother's wedding. You know what? Why are you trying to be my family? I didn't invite you because I don't like you. Say what? Then perhaps the reason my plane ticket and hotel weren't prepared is because... I just wasn't planning to do it from the start, you know? And yet, you just went ahead and made an arrangement yourself. I was so surprised at how out of line you are. But, well, it can't be helped. You only graduated from high school and didn't have a proper education. I guess
guess you don't know what common sense is. Harry seems to want to cut you off from the family. I understand exactly how he feels. Huh? My brother wants to cut me off? Yes. Did he really say that? He didn't actually say it in those words. When he proposed to me, he said, Please be my family. That means that he and you won't be family anymore, right? Huh? What part of that statement leads to you cutting ties with me? Just because my brother is going to become family with you, there's no need to cut off ties with me, right? Ah, this is why I have trouble with poorly educated people with low comprehension. Huh? Harry's being kind, so he just didn't say it out loud. In his heart, he wants to get rid of you. I think that's a pretty bold assumption. What's so bold about it? Unlike you, I'm smart enough to know what Harry is thinking. I understand very well that you don't like me. There's no way my brother would cut off ties with me. He's not gonna turn me away after I came all the way to Hawaii. I can understand why you would long to come to Hawaii. It's your first time traveling outside your own city, right? But, like I said before, we are an educated family. If someone from the bottom of the barrel like you were at our wedding, you'd look out of place. Oh, I'm bottom of the barrel, huh? I beg you, get the hell out of the wedding hall! If you still want to stay in Hawaii, go sightseeing by yourself. I see. I understand. I see you finally understand your position. You're not family to us. You're a stranger. Frankly, I don't even want to look at you. Please don't ever show your face in front of us again. I think you're gonna regret this. Huh? No, it's nothing. Well, I'm just going wander around town and then I'll be on my way. Yes, please do that. Katrina? I got a call at the airport telling me you've arrived and you're already at the wedding venue, right? I can't find you anywhere. Where the hell are you? Harry? I went to the reception earlier, but it doesn't look like there's a seat for me, so I'm going home. What? Why isn't there a seat for you? Because I'm not family, apparently. Huh? What are you talking about? You're my precious little sister. The ceremony is starting soon. Hurry up and come back. Have you heard anything from Sabrina yet? Huh? Sabrina? I think Sabrina is just changing into her wedding dress. Well, first ask Sabrina what's going on. After that, you can decide what you want to do. I don't know what's going on, but... Anyway, I guess I should just ask Sabrina. I'll get right back to you, so just wait a second. Sabrina? I thought you were probably getting dressed, so I texted you. Yes, what is it? I just got a text from Katrina. She came, but there was no seat for her. I asked her why, and she said, because we are not family. Sabrina, do you know anything about this? Please tell me that you didn't make her leave. Oh, 
that! Some nerve, right? Huh? Katrina was gonna attend the ceremony even though I didn't invite her. And she went to the trouble of arranging her own flight and hotel. That's a serious lack of common sense. Wait a minute. Sabrina, you didn't arrange Katrina's flight and hotel because you didn't want her to come in the first place? That's right. Because she isn't family. What the hell is that? Katrina is my sister, right? I thought you were looking forward to her being your sister after we got married. Of course, that wasn't true. What did you say? You're praising her so much. I was just going along with you. But deep down, you really dislike her, don't you? What? Since you're marrying me, why don't you take this opportunity to break off the family ties? Oh, come on, what the hell are you talking about? Well, now that we've successfully gotten Katrina out of the way, let's really enjoy the wedding, shall we? Seriously? So it was you after all? Huh? What's wrong, Harry? I'll text you later. Harry? Hey, Harry! What's going on? We are about to start! I don't see anyone at the ceremony! Sabrina, the wedding is cancelled. What? I'm breaking off the engagement. Huh? What's wrong all of a sudden? I mean, where are you, Harry? I'm in the family waiting room. We are having a discussion with both families. Discussion? Yeah. As a result of the discussion, the engagement was called off. We've also decided to cancel the wedding at short notice. Of course, your parents agreed to this decision. I've had them look at the messages between you and Katrina. Why? I won't be satisfied without knowing why. Because you tried to exclude one of my family members from the wedding. Huh? My family? Do you mean Katrina? That's right. What are you talking about? Katrina is an outsider, right? You've already cut off your family. I never said anything about cutting off ties with Katrina. Harry, I haven't forgotten what you said when you proposed to me. You said, will you be my family? That means you cut off Katrina and chose me, right? Huh? I don't think there's the slightest element of cutting off Katrina in those words. Huh? You're wrong! Could it be that you don't understand the English? I'm sure you've had compulsory education at least, right? That's rude! I graduated from a prestigious university, you know! I'm not on the same level as Katrina, who only graduated from high school in this day and age. I see. So, you're looking down on her because she only graduated from high school. Yes, that's it. I can't stand the thought of having such an educated woman as a relative. She probably doesn't even have a good job if she only graduated from high school. It's out of the question for her to attend a wedding where the elites are gathered. Sabrina, I told you this before. The reason we are able to rent this wedding hall for less than usual is thanks to Katrina. Huh? What's that? So I guess you weren't listening to me after all. Wait a minute. What do you mean thanks to Katrina? 
Okay, let me explain one more time. Katrina is the president of a company that imports and sells Hawaiian goods. President? That's right. Even though she only graduated from high school? You know, there are plenty of people in the world who only graduated from high school and now president of companies. So you weren't lying when you said Katrina was brilliant? Katrina was a better student than me. Her love for Hawaii got the better of her. She really wanted to open her own Hawaiian goods store, so she started her own business right after graduating from high school. So, Katrina comes to Hawaii often to buy products. She naturally made connections here, and one of them let us use their family's wedding venue at a reasonable price. But you kicked Katrina out of the wedding venue. There's no way we can have a wedding like this. Um, Harry? Let's wait till you get back home to discuss this. I'm sorry, but until I get back, I'll arrange another place to stay. No, wait! I won't wait. Goodbye. We'll just have Katrina come back, right? As long as Katrina is here, we can have the ceremony as planned, right? Hey, Harry, please answer me. I definitely don't want to break off the engagement. Katrina? Come back to the ceremony right now! I'll let you attend the wedding! If you don't, they're gonna break off the engagement! Hey, Katrina! Don't ignore me! I treat you as one of my family members! If you come back, everything will be alright! Today's wedding shouldn't have to be cancelled either! Katrina? Katrina, we've decided to cancel the wedding. Have you been able to talk to her? She didn't seem to understand the cause yet. She seemed unhappy about it, but... I got both sides of parents to agree to call off the engagement. I see. Even just now, she sent me all sorts of texts trying to keep from having the engagement called off. Sorry, you can block her now. The official end of the engagement will come after we go back home, but you don't need to be involved with Sabrina anymore. Okay, I'll do that. Katrina. I'm sorry for all the trouble I've caused you. It was stupid of me not to see through Sabrina's true nature. You came all the way to Hawaii for me, and this is the thanks you get. It's okay. Now I have an excuse to come to Hawaii outside of work. I'm going to relax and have fun, and then I'm going home. Yeah, okay. I'm glad you found out about her true character before the wedding. Yeah, me too. I feel sorry for the guests who came. It's a blessing that we invited almost only our relatives this time. By the way, have you already eaten dinner? If you want, why don't we go out with father and the others to eat somewhere? I haven't had dinner yet. I'm starving. It's my treat. So, do you know any good places? Okay. But what about Sabrina? Aren't you staying at the same hotel? It's okay. We decided to stay at different hotels. I see. Then I'll look for a restaurant and call you again. Oh, I'm relying on you again, aren't I? It's okay. If it's about Hawaii, you can leave it to me. 
I got it. Okay, see you later. According to my brother, Sabrina couldn't give up on marrying him. She kept persistently texting him while they were in Hawaii. My brother ignored them and returned home alone. He then got a lawyer and successfully broke off the engagement. At that time, there seemed to be some discussion about compensation, etc. In the end, they settled on Sabrina paying all the expenses for the wedding. However, Sabrina was still not satisfied. She finally stormed into my brother's workplace and went on a rampage, shouting that she wanted to get back together with him. Of course, the police were called immediately and Sabrina was taken away. Since she was no longer in any condition to continue working, she voluntarily resigned from her job. She is now working at a factory owned by an acquaintance of her parents. She works her ass off every day and has some debt that she neglected deducted from her paycheck. I, on the other hand, am doing well with my company. I spend my time commuting back and forth to Hawaii, which I love. My parents think it's time for me to think about getting married. But I have seen my brother go through a difficult time with his marriage. I'm going to live with work as my sole focus for a while. 